So I'd like to uh, extend my welcome to uh, the students uh, and also the, the, uh, the faculty and the families that have been able to attend this ceremony. As uh, Dr. Filizola mentioned, this is the inaugural, the first uh, lab coat uh, ceremony at Mount Sinai, but it's also one of the few in the United States, uh, the, the only in New York and uh, among the few in the United States, and it reflects Mount Sinai's uh, commitment uh, to the education of our PhD students and how important they are uh, to our medical school. So I want to say something about the, uh, the class that is entering uh, Mount Sinai. It is the strongest class, and, and I don't want to you know, have anybody else who's in the, <laughs> the school feel bad, uh, but, but this is the strongest uh, class academically that we have ever admitted to Mount Sinai, which means it's one of the top PhD classes in the United States. And uh, here are some you know, numbers. The GPA is very high. Um, uh, over 200 publications have already uh, been published by the class uh, coming in. And I was just told that the average uh, student has already done about 2,500 hours of research. So. Um, it's a very highly qualified uh, class. And you know, with the qualifications of the class, and including the, uh, the students that have already uh, presented their thesis proposal, by being among the best uh, comes a lot of responsibility. And you know, one way of thinking about it is that there's only on a, uh, roughly, let's say, 30 uh, schools, medical schools, that have the qualifications, maybe even less, the qualifications that you have coming in uh, to your PhD uh, program with the available resources we have at Mount Sinai. So there's not a lot of numbers uh, of you in the United States. And with that comes the responsibility, because if you, you know, look at how many patients still are dying you know, from cancer and, and heart disease, and mental illness, and neurological disease, and so on and so forth. Uh, there's only a few of you that really have the capability of making discoveries that will change uh, the face of medicine. And you know, I said something similar to our medical students uh, who had their white coat ceremony uh, last Thursday. And those who know me tend to uh, know, I like to use a lot of corny quotes. You know, and this is a quote from Winston Churchill during the Battle of Britain, you know, when they were uh, facing uh, the, the Nazis. And, you know, he said, never have uh, so many owed so much to so few. Never have so many owed so much to so few. And he was referring to the Royal Air Force, you know, that was able to enable Britain to survive the Nazi onslaught. And from then on, they were, they were called the few, those, uh, those air, airmen. Well, you are the few. Uh, you have all this kind of responsibility to make discoveries that change the lives of our patients. And uh, it won't be enough and I, um, that um, for you ultimately to get grants and publish papers in high quality uh, journals. You're gonna have to make discoveries that change medicine. So now that's a big burden. Um, and we're going to help you. You're going to have great mentors that I've told the same thing to. So you know, so you will work together as a team. And I'll leave you with one other quote. This was um, the favorite quote of President John F. Kennedy. And the quote comes from a Breton uh, fisherman who said, uh, "Oh God, thy sea, thy th sea is so great, and my boat is so." small. Thy sea is so great and thy, my boat is so small. So yes, it's going to be tough. It's going to be hard for you to make those uh, discoveries. But if not you, who's going to do it? We're going to help you. So congratulations on coming to Mount Sinai and beginning your uh, journey. And I look forward to the uh, ceremony. Thank you very much.